Ben. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, 25th of March. And this show, uh, this is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we follow Tom, Tommy O'Brien, his market kickoff at 9 o'clock. So here we go. Dow's down 82 at uh, 39,395. That, the action on Friday, as I was mentioning, looked very much like uh, the ca characteristic of a peak D. Uh, it's at 39,889. Here we are at 39,395. It went to the inside track repellent zone, pulling back the S&P uh, is down as well. The S&P is down 11. Went to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It's pulling back a little bit from the 5261.10 all-time high. Here it is at 5222, down 12. Looking at the QQQ, the index 100, uh, it, it's also down 242 at 443.92. Didn't even reach that particular level of resistance. Looking at the IWM, the IWM is down. <clears throat> whoops, now it's up. It's up $1.51 at 206.62. Uh, Will this become the, the play in the next uh, three, four weeks? We're going to be watching this very closely. Small caps, right? Let's go to gold. Gold is up quite nicely. Gold is up uh, 19, almost $20 at 2179. <clears throat> High level consolidation, that's a peak C. We're pulling back a little bit, holding the nine period moving average. That means the dollar's probably down a little bit. Yep, the dollar's down. Uh, 20 ticks at 104.23 and bonds. That's going to be important because bonds uh, just cannot get a break to the upside so that yields can come down. Bonds are down almost a half a point, and that's really not good. Let's look at crude oil because crude oil has been pushing quietly to the upside, not so quietly today. It's up a dollar of four, 81.66. If this week it touches 83.10. That's going to be quite a big deal. All right, so what we've got here is that some kind of choppiness. The way I'm looking at the market, I think we're in this once again. We're in this rotational aspect where there's some kind of a some kind of a pullback this week, and it becomes it starts to impact the nine period moving averages. We haven't seen that at all, and this is the week that I think we will start to see that nine period moving average being tackled above the 14 and at some point in the next two weeks it should turn negative and then we'll have a big consolidation <laughs> we'll see i'll be right back basil chapman tiger the initials hour coming up see you in a few minutes